I am in the best mood today. I have something that I want to share with you guys, but first a little context. So many of you are probably familiar with Thomas Heaton. He has a YouTube channel that is excellent. He's a UK based photographer, specializes in landscapes, and he is unbelievably good. I have never actually met Thomas in person. We have DM'd a few times, but anyway, I got a message from him. I don't know, I guess maybe a little over a week ago. And he said, you know, I really love photo assignments. And he said, I'd actually like to try the current photo assignment. And would you mind if I made a video? And I was like, are you kidding? Of course I don't mind. I think that would be awesome. That's the point of these is for people to participate. So today I got another message from him saying it's going to go up in about an hour. Don't freak out about the thumbnail. I actually think it's brilliant. So I'm going to give you a link for this video. I highly recommend you go watch it. But before I do, I want to make a few observations of things that I think are really important that I think Thomas just did a beautiful job with. So first of all, Thomas is a landscape photographer and he's really, really good at it. And one of the points that I was trying to make that even though we're doing a still life related thing in this photo assignment there is a way to think about light and a way to see things and he accentuates that point perfectly I remember a couple years ago I went out with my friend David Brookover that I did the artist series with and actually got to go shoot with him for a day when he was in Fort Worth and it was really interesting observing the way he reacted to things in fact I think on that day David didn't shoot more than he actually did shoot he was really picky and being decisive about what was available what would work what wouldn't work and whether we had time to wait for something and that's really important to understand because whether you're shooting landscapes or whether you're shooting tabletop setups like we're doing for this assignment, there's really less difference than it seems there's going to be, if that makes sense. It's like it's really all about light and it's really all about the same thing. Now, I don't want to give away too much of this because Thomas did such a great job of communicating his thought process in the video, but I do want to note that he actually went through and did all the parts of this assignment that I've given so far. So actually going and shooting what the window light is doing throughout the day and having an understanding with that that, then using that to inform the next step, which is actually going to be looking at the details and trying to copy Sudex work as close as you can. He did an amazing job with it. But anyway, that's the process. And I think what his epiphany that came out of that, and I'm going to leave that for his video because that's really important, but I'm really glad to see that. And that's something like, as a teacher part of me, it's like when you give an assignment and you see somebody realize that it's like, yes, this is good. One thing that Thomas does not say in this video that I was really impressed with, and it's just an observation when you're seeing somebody go through the process. Like, I wouldn't see this by myself doing it, but when you see somebody else doing it, you see what I'm talking about. So the part of the assignment where you're trying to copy the Sudek image down to the T, you know, he selected an image and he's trying to get it done and you see his thought process start to unfold and you see how he's starting to learn and he's having these aha moments and I should do this. You know, Sudek's been dead for a long time, and so there's no way to go study with somebody like that. But there's this kind of weirdness that, I mean, it's not weird, it's really cool. And it's one of the most beautiful things about photography, and it's one of the reasons I'm so attracted to it, because it's about visual communication. And now what I'm seeing is Josef Sudek visually communicating a lesson through Thomas while he's trying to put this together, and I thought that was really cool. And finally, I want to just say that I was really flattered when Thomas reached out to me and said he wanted to participate in this. This is somebody that I've looked up to to for a long time. I've subscribed to his channel for years now. I think he's got a very unique approach to what he does. There's a lot of thought process. It's a lot of behind the scenes of somebody who's a really good landscape photographer. And it was really cool to have him reach out, which brings me to a point that I want to make about the situation that we're in right now. So right now we're all being asked to stay at home. And I think that's an enormous sacrifice for people to make. We miss the social interaction with other human beings that we don't have all of a sudden right now. And it's only been a few weeks. And so this, you know, is bad as situation as this is and as big a sacrifice as we're making for this, there is a little bit of a silver lining in that we are forced to kind of do things differently than we did before. I've been on more Zoom calls with old friends over the last two weeks than I can count and I think that that's amazing and then I think a collaboration like this when Thomas reached out, these are important things too and I'm, I've got some ideas that I'm working on for this but I just want to say that there is a silver lining to all this and as somebody who has had a YouTube channel for a long time, I've done this for 12 years now and I think there's a feeling that what YouTube used to have that was a lot more community based in some ways and I feel like when Thomas reached out it brought a little of that back and I really get inspired by that and I'm excited about it. Anyway, I'm going to link up to Tom's video here so click on it, go watch it. I know I talked a long time. Go watch it, go subscribe to him. He's amazing. I will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, later.